Given the pictures the world's seen in recent weeks, the statement to the Human Rights Council from the generals in Myanmar claiming they're using utmost restraint was far from convincing. It was made in a recorded address by a veteran diplomat who sounded nervous, mumbling his words. Myanmar has consistently opposed country's special aid mandate, which ran contrary to the principles of universality, impartiality, objectivity, non-selectivity and non-politicization in addressing the human rights issue of the country concerned. However, as the permanent secretary at the foreign ministry, Chan Ai previously worked closely with Aung San Suu Kyi as state councillor. One of her jobs was foreign minister. Observers are now wondering whether someone who was a close aide of the now detained leader was speaking freely or perhaps was in fear of reprisals. The statement was in very clear contrast to that of the UN special rapporteur Tom Andrews who said at least 70 people have been killed by the military since the coup on February the 1st. There is growing evidence that this same Myanmar military, led by the same senior leadership, is now engaging in crimes against humanity, including the acts of murder, enforced disappearance, persecution, torture, and imprisonment in violation of fundamental rules of international law. The Human Rights Council meeting highlights an ongoing battle over diplomatic recognition. While the position of the generals is read out at the UN in Geneva, here at United Nations headquarters in New York, Ambassador Jean Mortun, who's denounced the military, continues to hold the country's seat in the General Assembly. James Bays, Al Jazeera, of the United Nations.